Thank you, Adam. You know, three years of comedy jam packed in one hilarious corny show. No, we're not talking about the night beat. <laughs> Oh. We're talking about corneation. It is back for the first time since 2019. Now, guests are telling the night team's Lee Waldman that its grand return is actually the highlight of Fiesta. <laughs> The Empire Theater nearly shaking with laughter, cheers, and occasional booze. From a packed crowd, seasoned corneation vets. I've been limiting my fiesta activities just because, but the first thing I told my husband is we have to go to corneation because it's been two years, so we're very excited to be here. It's so much fun, and I'm so... I was really thrilled when I saw that it was coming back this year. I've been coming for years. It's always great. Always have a good time. Two first timers. I'm married to a jokester, so I will not be offended. <laughs> Everyone in store for an incredible show jam packed with nearly three years worth of carefully crafted jabs. More than enough uh, ammunition this year. We have uh, a lot of skits that deal with the pandemic. From potty humor to work from home woes, even snowmageddon. And of course, we always have Mr. Putin in the background. No topic went untouched for Corneation's grand return. Part of what made the night so special, a shared stage from King Anchovy, King Antonio, and El Rey Feo. We've never really had the recognition from sort of the more mainstream events. And this year, they've all coalesced to come together at our stage. And tomorrow is your last night to catch the show either at 7 o'clock or at 10 o'clock. It's one that's going to keep you laughing for sure. I know we sure were when we're inside, but it's also one that supports a lot of amazing organizations in our community, including the San Antonio AIDS Foundation, Beat AIDS, Thrive Youth Center, which supports homeless LGBTQ plus youth, and also the Robert Rame Scholarship. It's amazing. You're not going to want to miss this show at all. Live downtown, Lee Waldman, KSAT 12 News.